Hi, it's Katrina. From river monsters that can stab you to angels that are actually carnivores, here are nine of the strangest aquatic creatures on the planet. Number 9. Liar Tail Pleco While this fish might look like an alien, it is actually a species of armored catfish native to the Colombian Amazon and Orinoco basins. With its feathered face and gills, fins that look like wings, spines, and enormous thighs, these fish look like real river monsters. These liar tail plecos are usually black or dark brown, but sometimes white ones have been found, which may be albino. They can reach up to three and a half feet long and are known for being very aggressive, so they are not common in aquariums. Several forums mention that if you do want to keep one, you should probably keep it alone in a very big tank. This fish is not only aggressive, but territorial and even outright homicidal. You have been warned. Julian Dignall of PlanetCatfish.com says that they also become more aggressive with age, and that one source reports repeatedly trying to add small fish to hang out with his pleco, but it would wait at the edge of the tank and impale the little fish with his opercular spines against the glass. It wouldn't eat the fish, it reportedly just wanted them dead. While not a predator, this seems unlikely given the carnivorous tendencies of this species. Number 8. Bumphead Sunfish In 1996, scientists captured the heaviest bony fish that they'd ever found. It clocked in at an astounding 5,070 pounds. At first, they weren't sure what species this creature was, but they later classified it as Mola alexandrini, also known as the Bumphead Sunfish, a creature that had never been seen before. For a long time, everyone thought this fish was the Mola Mola, but it was a new species. Sunfish are extremely heavy fish with bony skeletons, which you might think is normal. However, lots of aquatic creatures don't have bony skeletons like ours, but are held together by different kinds of cartilage. These fish are huge and round, the flapjacks of the sea, and can grow to be over 10 feet long. However, due to their size, it can be a serious problem trying to capture and investigate them safely. In 2004, fishermen from Japan caught a fish that was 10.9 feet long. It was an M. alexandrini, but they didn't weigh it. It took some serious advances in genetic analysis before scientists knew just how many sunfish were in the sea. This groundbreaking research enabled scientists to determine that there were a lot more kinds of sunfish out there than they first thought. There is much to still be discovered out in the ocean. And now for number 7. But first, be sure to subscribe if you are new here and let me know if you've ever seen any of these creatures in real life. Number 7. Frilled Shark The frilled shark is a strange-looking prehistoric shark that lives deep in the ocean. Only two species of this shark have been discovered, and it has changed little in the 80 million years it has been around, so scientists call them living fossils. Fishermen off Australia got quite the shock when they found one in their net. It was like a large eel probably one and a half meters long, and the body was quite different to any other shark I'd ever seen. Fisherman David Gillot tells 3AW Radio, The head on it was like something out of a horror movie. It was quite horrific looking. Frilled sharks are named for their six pairs of gills, the first pair of which extends around their throats completely. And then you've got those teeth. Just take a look inside of its mouth. It's got 25 rows of teeth in total, and all 300 of them are razor sharp with three prongs. They are pretty much perfect for grabbing a hold of something and not letting go. The more a fish wrestles to get out, the more entangled it will get on the shark's teeth. Little is known about this fascinating species since they are usually found so deep below the surface, probably around several hundred to several thousand feet. The only one caught alive died soon after it was put into a pool full of seawater. Its long serpent shape makes scientists think that they might go after their prey just like snakes do. They might use their back fins to push themselves in the direction of their prey and lunge out into the darkness with one swift strike. Since frilled sharks have such huge jaws, they might also be able to open them extra wide and take in gigantic prey. While no one's ever seen a frilled shark on the hunt, they are probably one of the most intimidating predators in the deep sea. Number 6. Diamond Squid when a scuba diver was exploring off the coast of Australia, he spotted a massive long thing that looked like a slinky and glowed in the dark. While it sort of looks like a pyrosome, there was something more to it. What was this enormous thing? A sea monster? Turns out, it's not actually an animal. Instead, when scientists looked closer, they determined that the sea slinky was actually a gigantic collection of eggs from a species of squid that scientists don't know much about. 
the elusive diamond squid. This large mass doesn't have a solid outside like you'd expect. Instead, it's a collection of a string of squid eggs forming a transparent structure. The glowing pink blobs in between are the eggs themselves. It's such a rare occurrence that whoever finds this should be really excited. Not only is a collection of eggs this large an unlikely sight, but it came from an even more elusive creature. Rebecca Helm, a biologist at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in Massachusetts, said that these egg masses are incredibly rare. If I were there, I would have been screaming with joy through my regulator. I hope the divers know what a lucky sighting this was. The mysterious diamond squid, also known as the diamondback squid, are named for their kite or diamond-shaped triangular fins. Surprisingly, they have been observed to be found in pairs, making scientists believe that they might be monogamous. If one is caught, the other will stay nearby, which is not great since they are a popular squid to eat. These squid grow to around 3 feet long and weigh around 53 pounds. They are known to lay egg cases like this one, which can contain up to 43,800 eggs. However, once they're released, they have to fend for themselves. The species develops rapidly and is estimated to only live up to a year. To date, only about 24 of these enormous egg masses have been recorded worldwide. Number 5. Sea Angel Sea angels are proof that the ocean is unbelievably mysterious and full of things we can barely even imagine. These floating sea angels can be found all over the world in cold waters, but even when you see it with your own eyes, it still almost doesn't look real. These creatures look like something out of a fantasy novel, but they're actually a type of sea snail, which is a strange and wonderful class of animals. They live all over the world's oceans, but most notably right in the middle of the Antarctic seas. Their bodies are almost completely see-through, and they don't grow to be very large. In fact, the biggest species of sea angel is only about two and a half inches long. In 2016, thousands invaded North Carolina beaches, probably due to strong winds and currents. They're called angels because of the strange wing-like organs they have extending from their bodies. While they are harmless to humans, they aren't as gentle as real angels. They're voracious carnivores, feeding on shelled sea butterflies by turning them inside out. Sea angels can swim at nearly double the speed of sea butterflies, so they're an easy target. They shoot them with a form of mucus that renders them immobile, and then they dig in, angels versus butterflies, but not in a good way. In turn, baleen whales love eating sea angels. Another weird fact about sea angels is that all of them start out their lives as males and evolve into females over their lifetimes, kind of like clownfish. In order to mate, they flip their reproductive organs inside out and stick themselves onto one another, and then they pirouette through the ocean for a few hours while the babies form. You can check out this mystifying dance for yourself. Number 4. Deep Sea Lizardfish When scientists were looking for different kinds of sea creatures off the coast of eastern Australia, they certainly weren't expecting to find the deep sea lizardfish, which turned out to be the most deep living predator in the world. The technical name is Bathysaurus ferox which translates to fierce deep sea lizard. The deep sea lizard fish is downright terrifying and they have the appetite to prove it. They generally live at depths between 3,300 and 8,200 feet below the surface of the ocean, where they then bury themselves deep into the ocean floor. No sunlight can penetrate such deep waters and these animals have adapted to living in the darkness. This fish is an ambush predator, waiting in the darkness until it senses movement and then it will lunge forward, grabbing its prey with its searing teeth. This thing also has an absurdly powerful bite. There's really no way for anything to escape once it's trapped in the lizardfish's jaws. That's a terrifying way to go, although it is over quickly. Just like the sea angel, the deep sea lizardfish has both male and female reproductive organs. So anytime that one deep sea lizardfish meets another in the deep sea, they can mate with any partner they come across. It's a crazy world out there in the ocean, and these weird adaptations help these animals survive almost no matter what. In an environment like the deep ocean that's so hostile to life, this is an astounding evolutionary advantage. Number 3. Squidworm this creepy, fascinating thing is not a squid and it's not a worm. But what is it? About a decade ago, scientists discovered a new species that they dubbed Tuthododrilus. They first discovered this strange-looking creature in the Celebes Sea between Indonesia and the Philippines, about 9,200 feet and 9,500 feet deep. It probably makes sense why this thing is called the squid worm. Just look at the tentacle-like things sprouting from its head. Each one of them is longer than its whole body. Why does it have these long appendages? Scientists think that it enables the squidworm to grab passing particles and plankton that it eats. Strangely enough, 
There were also a lot of them located in the same spot of the deep ocean, which is odd for creatures that live that far down. Although they have squid in their names, they are more worm. They're in the same phylum, annelid, with their cousins, the earthworm. The six pairs of sensory organs pop out from its head, which give it the ability to smell and taste. However, we still don't know much more about this species since we've only discovered it recently. But scientists think that it could be a kind of transition species between worms deep down in the ocean and worms closer to the surface. This could help scientists patch together a mysterious piece of evolutionary history. Number 2. Halitrephes Massey Jellyfish What is going on with the Halitrephes Massey Jellyfish? If you take a look at it, it looks more like a psychedelic poster than a real living animal. But I promise, it's real! Researchers recently took video of this strange jellyfish swimming through the waters around Baja California, Mexico at about 4,000 feet below the water. The team who captured this video said that its movement is like a bunch of deep sea fireworks moving through the jellyfish's body. They have a pretty good explanation for why this jellyfish emits a psychedelic display. They think that the colors are formed when canals throughout the jellyfish's body transmit nutrients through the jellyfish's bell, the head-like structure on top of its body. The transmission makes a wonderful array of light come into view, though it's likely that a part of the display caught on video was caused by a reflection of the light from the submarine that was watching the jellyfish. To this day, there isn't all that much information about the so-called firework jellyfish. Like other deep-sea creatures, they are incredibly difficult to spot given both their remoteness and rarity. But scientists are optimistic that they may be located in other parts of the world. We just have to keep an eye out for them. Number 1. The Gulper Eel the gulper eel, also known as the pelican eel, is one of the strangest animals in the world. They're named gulper eels because of their gigantic mouths, which can open up in a way that's strangely similar to a pelican, and they can change their shape in a flash. Like other strange ocean creatures, you'll find gulper eels swimming between 1,600 to 10,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. Because of this, they also have another feature that's relatively common to deep-sea creatures. They are bioluminescent, flashing pink and red lights in the dark. Bioluminescence is more common the further down you search, because below a certain depth, there is no seeing anything. The ocean turns pitch black, with predators around every corner. When there's no light from the sun, you might as well make your own! In order to move around, like most eels, the gulper wiggles its skinny body to swim through the water. The gulper eel, which grows up to 2.5 feet long, is best known for its huge, loosely hinged mouth, which is disproportionately large compared to its body and can open extremely wide, enabling the eel to swallow a fish larger than itself. Its jaw alone occupies an estimated one quarter of the creature's body length, but its teeth are very small. This evolutionary adaptation enables them to bring a ton of water into their mouths and completely inhale their prey, which is an easy way to sweep up tiny little creatures trying to escape. Although they tend to eat crustaceans, many researchers think that their mouths are so big that they could entirely swallow whole fish that are bigger than they are. However, sometimes their mouth is bigger than their stomach, and they eat prey that is too large for them that ends up getting stuck. Thanks for watching! What do you think is the strangest aquatic creature? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe if you are new here, and I'll see you next time!